okay, let's actually buy a house and not get frustrated with any more orders. And um, we're going to buy the burned house. Now, let's have a little look in here. I will sell for renovation. A fire broke out of our home, but the house did not suffer too much, and I estimate its condition is good. Well, you would do. You're trying to sell it. There's two rooms, a kitchen, and a bathroom. Two rooms, kitchen, bathroom. So it is pretty much exactly the same as the last one, the derelict house we bought, but it's a bit more work to be done in the house. So there's all the flames. This is where the flames come out. Out the window there. I mean, in a house as small as that, the fire's going to go everywhere. But we'll buy the house. And we'll go over there. Oh, wow. Um, hmm. Burnt houses are very sad. Because there's always more to the the, the, the damage to the property. There's, there's, there's all the things behind it that you know about the history of things that have been irrevocably destroyed. Photos and memories and treasures and everything else. It's, uh, and hopefully, no... Um, no no injuries or deaths. So hard to let it go. If you don't want to put a house up for sale, maybe you'd rather move there. When you're in a house you bought, let's escape. In the options menu, you will see the move the house off button. Off the office button. Using it, you can put your laptop somewhere in the current house. You'll be able to sell the previous house as you want to. No, because we're still at early, early, early days. Yeah? It will be very easy to go, oh, lovely, I'll live in here. No. The purpose is to work our way up the ladder. And to do that, we need to... Be a little bit harder on ourselves. Be a bit frugal for now. Okay. Uh, so here we go. It's a little bit bigger than the last one, I think. It's obviously a real state. But we can fix the outside. I might paint the outside of this one. I'll see what, how paint works out here. Look at the state of this. So let's do a bit of CSI. We've got the usual bunch of chumps on the side. Have we still got... Have we still got... Uh, whatever his name is that bought it last time. Who bought the house last time? Raphael. Wasn't it? Raphael. So we haven't got Raphael this time, have we? But we're, we're not going to ignore them for now. I do not care about this lot. At all. We're just going to have a look around here and see what... Um, we'll start cleaning up in a minute. You know what? That's actually interesting. It's exactly the same as the last damn house, isn't it? That's actually not that bad, because I've I, I had some thoughts about what I should have done about the last one, so I can improve this how I do it. So, um, I'm just going to start stealing the junk off in here. Hard to tell, so rather than using a hand, they're whinging again already. Just ignore them! Don't even look at them! They just they want the attention. Probably, can we do it with a hand? We can, can't we? Yeah, but it might as well. I might as well do it like this to sell the stuff that can go. There we go. Um. Okay. Should I have sold that? Yeah, I should have done. It. It's going to be even if in a trouble with a, with a bird house. Even if um, something miraculously survived, uh, it was not. You know, it'll be fumes will be in there as well. And of course, the top of the houses, they're not made of just wooden concrete. Let's completely rip it all out. Well, look, there, there's what the tiles were originally like, but we can still see. Shut up, you lot over there. I can see you. I can see you talking about stuff. Just shut your faces, okay? Shut your faces. Nobody cares. That's actually in reasonable condition. I might keep that. I might keep that one. That's sort of, I was just saying I should get rid of it, but... That's definitely damaged, that's damaged, that's damaged. Those are all right. We're going to be frugal again if we can. Wasn't there a broken door over here? No, it's working. It's working. There's a bit of broken... But can, we, but can we replace this? That's kind of interesting. I didn't know if we could or not. Okay, we'll get sweeping. Around here. So, the plan is I'm just going to clean it up, and then I'm going to... Uh, we'll see if I can get, I'll get our perk for cleaning. Do this. I couldn't actually tell where the fire might have started. I had a look. 
and I was trying to CSI it to, to work out what might have been the cause. But it doesn't appear to be an obvious cause. I mean, usually, you know, forgetting even what the accelerant was and everything else, there's usually, you can tell roughly where it's come from. The kitchen, it'll be a chip pan fire or something, you know, or someone's decided to have a... Come on, wiper. Someone's decided a nice bath and a, a, a candle's caught a curtain or goodness knows what it could be. But I can't see the obvious what it is, and the place is torched anyway, so... And when I saw that so hard to let it go, at the at the start, that was telling us about moving our property, our office, I was actually thinking that maybe what the person who's saying that thought about their property. They didn't want to actually get rid of it, but they've got to. And there we go. So, um, I thought... Cleaner, you are just... Mm. Um, I thought last time what I should have done. So last time, the, the people were complaining a lot about the number of rooms. Look, they're gone, by the way. Isn't this pleasant? They're not there. We can't see them, and they're windy. Come on, computer. There we go. Um, I'm surprised that's even cleaning up, quite frankly. Oh, hold on. Be gone, disgusting lamps. Yeah, what I should have done. So the rooms I got the rooms wrong, didn't I? I should have done the I should have noticed that the room said bedroom for the other room in there. So we're gonna make this a two bed house, which is what I should have done to the other one. But of course the question is, how do you have a two bed house when it's shaped like this? Because um it's like a student property where you someone's converted part of their house into flats and therefore they've made they've made some compromises so for example you walk through someone's bedroom to get to the bathroom or some madness like that where's my visceral mop i really need that in here is this even gonna go or just like an old carpet maybe that's burnt in here yeah so i worked out uh, after after my last well the, the video when I sold the, the previous property. Walking the dog, as usual, the great exercise of of, of of using your brain. I've taken the dog for a walk. Mine goes into a bit more of a a, uh, a resting period, and I, I think about things, and I suddenly realise what I should have done, in hindsight, which is always easy. Now, I'm not too worried that I made a mistake last time, because I guarantee that you, if you were doing something like this, People make mistakes, you know, the first time they do a big, and they don't necessarily know what they should be doing, and the best way to do something like, and it's complicated, as, as flipping a house. So I'm not worried about it, but I'm worried about what I should have done. I should have converted it into two rooms properly, and the way you do that is what, exactly what we're going to do here. And the key is the porch, the little, the little hall area. So what we need to do there, we need to, we need to separate off the two bedrooms. So that it can be rented out to two people if it comes to it. Probably not, because, you know, when uh, the other chap was Jack or whatever his name was saying about that, he said he wanted two bathrooms to rent it out to somebody. But we can definitely make it two bedrooms. And... Can I not clean these? The way we can do that is here. So we need to do something where we can go straight from here. We knock through here into the kitchen. Okay, so you've got a room here. You've got a room here. It might take a bit of a lot of wall reorganisation, but I'm going to do that carefully. That's what I'm planning on doing. So you'll be able to come into the house, and you better go left or right into your respective bedroom, or you better walk straight through into the kitchen, and from there, the bathroom. There you go, and it will actually be a bedroom on the. Uh, what the heck was that? That's a broken socket. Okay, we'll do that. We'll do that in a minute. No, 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 no. Get back. They get the room back. So that's the plan. Okay, that's what I'm going to do. Should we get rid of these doors as well? Probably. I think that's what that would have made the last sale a bit less painful. But before we even do that, that's the plan. Okay, before we even do that, I'll be very careful, and I'm going to look at all these buyers. Before we do anything, we're going to look at these buyers and see what they want. Do Donald's at the top again. 
because the property's cheap and they're always excited about it. Um, we're going to look at all the buyers and we're going to work out who's most likely to buy and who, not only who looks like they're going to buy right now, because we know, for example, where's Jack? Is he there? No, Jack's not even there. We know, for example, that um, the old couple, they want, uh, they've got to have a kitchen. Yeah, but Mr. Red-haired chap, gentleman there, remember what he said last time, he doesn't even want a kitchen. You know, maybe we could get rid of him entirely. So he's the most likely one we're going to satisfy. Forget where they're in, where they are in the in the chain right now. Who can we actually satisfy and get to buy this thing by doing exactly what they want, from what little we know about their their needs so far? Okay, so let me finish cleaning up this goddamn mess, and I will tell you what I've um. I've <laughs> stop being rude, guys. I know it's dirty. It's a burnt house. It's like having a bunch of people watching over your shoulder the whole time. It's horrible. Um, I will work out what I've divined about these 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 people who we can keep mildly happy. Okay, uh, we have a um, a perk finally for the cleaning. Oh, we have no, we haven't got one. I thought I had one. Oh, that's really annoying. So, I don't know if the house is actually clean or not. Probably not quite. I've got, what even worse, I've got these idiots giving me cleaning device. Me! Cleaning device. Do they even know who they're dealing with here? But there you go. We've done cleaning, though. That's still my plan, is to go through here. I'm worried the room might be a bit small. They could reduce the kitchen even more, though, couldn't we, really? We could probably do that. Uh, I've got a feeling I'm going to look out here. I'm going to see this bunch of idiots watching me from the street over the fence and shouting instructions. Um, I'll have a look at the buyers and we'll see what we can do about keeping them happy. You know what? These rooms aren't actually specified what they are. Which is kind of weird. It's clean as I go around. Look, it just, it just says room up there. Room 30 meters squared. Room. Room. Maybe putting something particular in defines it as a room. Was it like that before? In that case, what the reason was, I looked at Dolan here, and last time he wanted one bedroom, not two, so that sort of ruins my plan, so it's about splitting the rooms up. But it means that I can um, I can put an office in there, separate Sorry. office. Goddamn pesky kids in the other room. Um, this guy here might be hard to deal with. A big bedroom, how sweet. You mean he looks a big bedroom fine there was a tv you idiot there was a tv last time and he wanted expensive, uh, a bathtub but only there wasn't even a bathtub i think maybe these some of these comments that people are making aren't necessarily directly relevant to the house because he's talking about tv oh, i don't know tvs don't work and bathtub well the last one didn't even have a bathtub at all so why is he making that comment out of shower? There's no place for my clothes, clean and fragrant, and no kitchen required. He's going to be hard. You know? We might try and go around him. Um, we've got the old couple who want to rent out. They, they're out because they want to rent out the property. No, no, he wants to rent out. Jack wants to rent out the property. The other old fella. There are too many rooms. There was a living room. Not so many wooden elements. That's quite a lot of information, actually. That's more than there was before. Pictures. There's enough space to put on our books. These aren't too much. I mean, too many rooms isn't too bad. No living room is always going to be a problem. Maybe I have to specify what I put in there. The whole house is very clean. Oh, I'm sorry. I, I just need... I'm just trying to go through the process here. So if it's not very exciting. She's the hard one, I think. Because she wants... Didn't she want artistic things? Maybe not. Pictures make rooms deeper. That's fine. Pictures. Cla doesn't like classic furniture. One bedroom, not two. A little artistic door disorder would not bother me at all. That's minor. We could ignore that. And who's the last one? No, not crazy... Gas mask guy. So although they're at the bottom of the list right now... Jimmy... 
No drink for little brats. Double bed. <laughs> this, the, the, there isn't a TV in the bedroom. There was a TV in the bedroom. Expensive house equipment. I don't need two bedrooms. I like order. I don't want to take the dog for a walk. I don't know what to do here. Because... I'm a bit worried about what the, what's going to happen to the rooms as I start putting stuff in here. Whether they're going to start calling it bedrooms here. That's the key thing about whether I change this or not. Is whether or not these rooms change what they are. Because I think we're going to have to... Um, we have to decide basically at the start, one or two bedrooms... Let me go and have a think, and I'll, and I'll come back and decide what I'm going to do about this. I just had a little experiment. Cost me a bit of money, but I'm, gonna, I'm not going to sell these off. I'm going to work around it, because we still understand how the game works. This didn't say anything. It just had a room before, didn't it? This is now a bedroom, isn't it? And this says nothing. So the bed, I had to put a door on, and I had to put a bed in here. But this has defined it as a bedroom. So whatever I did last time, with whatever I put in here, in this other house, made it a bedroom. Okay? So we have to watch out for that next time, about what the problem is. At least we know now. Now I might still... So what? who I'm aiming for here is... Dolan. Just one bathroom. Wants lots of bookshelves. Sure, we can put a filing cabinet in for that. He wants documents. One bedroom, not two. Got to watch out for that. Need a separate office. So in fact, we might make the smaller room the office. In fact, I might still knock this through. I might make another room here. We can make one little office room here. Have a little sitting room here, maybe, or something. We can knock this out. I don't know. We might reduce the size of the kitchen. We will see. This, this will stay as a bedroom, and I think we'll make an... Or maybe we make this the bedroom. There's not enough room for a bed in here. We'll do something to manoeuvre this around. I guarantee we will do something. Make a little galley kitchen of some sort there. Or so, I don't know. Um, and the other choice is... Veronica. She wants pictures. She wants flowers. So that's that's easy to solve. She like those. Doesn't like classic furniture. We can avoid those. That's fine. One bedroom again. So they're both one bedroom people. Clean a little artistic disorder. In fact, that's even why I picked this bed. Because it looks a little bit disordered. Yeah? So there you go. Um, I'm still going to do the take the dog for a walk. Because I need, I need to go for a walk, I think. Have a have a bit more of a ponder. So now we know some of the new rules. We're going to see if we need to do any wall repair. I thought this might be one where we have to do wall repair with a bit of plaster. Otherwise, we're going to start... We'll, we'll start with changing some of these walls around when I've had a thought to think about what to do and define the rooms and then we'll decorate.